the hip hop MC who burst onto the music scene with classic records like La 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 Good to, Good to see, see you, you again. Yes, Have a seat, Purple Marks your oh, spot. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Congratulations on being newly married. Thank you. Eight months in, huh? <laughs> I walked. <right? laughs> You got it down to the got team. Got it down. We researched you. Okay. Now, how has marriage life been treating you, and have you had to make any adjustments with your career um, as far as being a wife now? You know what? Absolutely, there have been adjustments. However, prior to us getting married, I was on a tour that really I wasn't home at all mm. so we did our whole courting process with me not being home anyway okay. so it's kind of like a rhythm that yeah, we yeah, found yeah. which is really good and then you know marriage is all about a reflection mm -hmm. of who Hello, you are somebody. Come on, <laughs> and what you need to do <laughs> what you're saying there's hope for a sister yes, <laughs> yes absolutely well like, let's take it all the way back to the beginning because clearly your career is just colossal yes what I want to know, you. and what I've always wanted to know, mm -hmm. is what drew you to hip-hop, and what do you see that's different, or how do you feel about hip-hop now, mm -hmm. as opposed to when you came out? Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Well, you know what? It was a lull. There was somewhere in between where I was just really disgusted mm -hmm. with what I was mm -hmm. hearing and seeing. And then I started DJing. I ran into Bismarck in an airport one time. He was like, why aren't you DJing? I was like, well, why would I? He said, because you know music. Right. Mm -hmm. You can orchestrate a nice set, you know, so on and so forth. So he actually gave me my first library nice. uh, of music to play. What a gift. Yeah, right? They set me up, uh, Bismarck and Cool V. And so from that moment on, I started to listen to music in a different kind of way. Mm -hmm. And so uh, for much of the music that we made, back in the day the generation before us was like what is this right. what's going on and I felt like I had started to have that attitude so I said let me just get off my high horse right. and get up in the trenches and listen to what's happening mm -hmm. now and that's how I found uh, a new love mm -hmm. for music in general even um, even the mumble mm -hmm. rap you know I'm able to love the music right. yes. I may not get into the lyrics but I, I can do that mm -hmm. yeah. so in your opinion has hip-hop regressed or progressed Oh, I definitely think it's progressed uh -huh. in a whole lot of areas. Mm, Let's take, okay. for instance, Kendrick Lamar. Absolutely, yes. 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 Rise, yes. Right, and I think um, I think that we are growing in all sorts of ways sure. outside of just lyrical content. Mm. And for instance, Kendrick with the music, J. Cole right now, who just made his new uh, release. There are so many others. Drake has been very progressive I love Drake. Right. with his yeah. choice of production. So I think in some areas we've grown and in other areas it's just a representation of what's happening mm. in the hood. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now we recently had Yo-Yo on the show. Yes. yes. My sister. And, yes, your friend. <laughs> and um, she was talking about women having to use their bodies to push their music. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very interesting what she had to say. Let's take a look. Men really control the scene and mm -hmm. so you have a lot of women who've given in to men and uh, a lot of their requests I mean back in the days we we stood firm yes our nose meant nose I think that um, you have some strong ones but you have those just who are playing so far left that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. there's no balance yeah. what, are, what is your take on women um, or being over sexualized in the, the hip-hop industry or the hip-hop entertainment world um, I think it was just a matter of time, uh, you know, before that would happen mm. to a music genre like hip hop. It's happened all across the board sure. yeah. in every other uh, medium of entertainment. Mm -hmm. So it just felt like it was just a matter of time. And right now there are so many other female MCs that have things to say and, you know, women of R&B and yeah. pop. And, and yet the attention is still put on and drawn to those who decide to just show more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kudos to everyone. I think for those women, they are very comfortable with their bodies. I, if I had a six pack, I'd be laying back. Right, right. <laughs> right. 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 
<laughs> there you go. You know, uh, yeah, so I, d I think it's to each his own. However, I do think that women who have something to say should actually be given the time and the space and the platform to do that. And we do. Look at where we, we are. Go. And I'm sure you have more to say. Um, so we're going to address that yes. when we get back. We'll be yes. right back with the hip hop icon, MC Light, when we return. We are back with living legend MC Light. <laughs> that so funny, I want uh, you are a living oh, legend. Yes, yes, I'll take it. Um, I want to talk more about the Hip Hop Sisters Network. Yes, um, I think uh, it's absolutely amazing. We were talking in the break, and you were saying it's not just women; it's men as well. Mm -hmm. um, Nikki Gilbert, uh, Faith Evans, and then Kenny Lattimore. Um, what was your reason for creating this initiative? First of all, mm -hmm. and um, what is the purpose or the mission of this right. initiative? Okay, well, the, let me give you the short version. Okay. Uh, Dr. Lynn Richardson, who I met through Russell Simmons okay. in one of his initiatives, asked that I want to start a, a foundation. I immediately said yes. Mm -hmm. Four months later, we were giving away uh, two $100,000 scholarships mm. to young ladies. Nice. And since then, we've changed the initiative. Uh, our signature initiative is hashtag educate our men, okay. where we send young men to further their education. Our now. partnership is with yes. Dillard University. Oh, Love wow. that. And at this point, we've given up uh, about $900,000 wow. of women's Wow. That is nice. awesome. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So Thank you're me. about to, you're kicking off your Beauty Brains and Business Tour. Yes. Um, you're working that muscle now. Yes. Like, tell, what can the people expect when they come? You're doing these big things. What can they expect when they get well, there? Well, a lot of our initiative with that particular uh, tour is about uh, strengthening your pockets. Mm. It's mm. economics. It's financial empowerment. And that's mm. what we're looking forward to bringing to the people. That's nice. excellent. I think mm -hmm. I, I think that's uh, very important, mm -hmm. especially for our people. <laughs> important. Yeah, because we're Money. not taught this as children, <laughs> yes. you know? Mm -hmm. I, well, black families and black families were not really taught about saving your money and financing and mm -hmm. investing. Budgeting. And things. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Financial literacy is not taught. At, a lot of people are not taught at home nor yeah. in the school system. So. Yeah, so they'll get it all right there. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Well, we love you down to the circle and we're <laughs> so excited about all the wonderful things that you're doing. Thank you. So Thank make sure you. you visit the wealthportal.net to find out more about beauty, brains, and business with MC Light and how a legend builds Tour. Yes. And the conversation always continue on SisterCircleTV.com and at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yes! Hey. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you.